High Central Valley. I'm Lauren Wallace and we have an exciting day planned today. We live along the Pacific Flyway and have many species of migratory birds that use parts of the San Joaquin Valley as a wintering ground. We're going to be both hiking and driving today to hopefully see not only birds, but all sorts of wildlife at the San Luis National Wildlife Refuge. Center, which is about 15 minutes north of Los Banos. This wildlife refuge has over 26,000 acres of wetlands, riparian forests, native grasslands, and vernal pools. There is so much to see here and we don't have time to do it all. And there are some areas that are closed for the season. So our itinerary today will cover two trails off of the visitor center. Then we'll head on the waterfowl auto tour route and do two trails off of that and we'll end the day with the Thule Elk Auto Tour route. Something to note about this wildlife refuge is that it is great for the whole family, even leashed pets. Each trail that we're going to do today is relatively short, flat, and easy. And our first trail is right off of the parking lot on the opposite side from the visitor center. The Upland Nature Trail is a loop coming in at about a half of a mile and is going to wind through native grasslands and shrubs. We're going to keep our eyes on the ground for this one and watch for foraging animals. cross over the main road from the visitor center, you'll find the wetland trail, which is a loop that comes in at less than a mile. This trail circles a semi-permanent marsh, and we'll also get to go along a boardwalk for a closer look. This trail also has benches along the way, so you can comfortably watch waterfowl and riparian species. Now it's time for one of the auto tour routes. We're going to start with the Waterfowl Auto Tour Route, which is an eight and a half mile drive through the heart of the upland and wetland habitats. We're visiting here in January, which is peak time to see wintering ducks, geese, and cranes. Our eyes will be peeled for raptor species like bald eagles and mammals like black-tailed deer and coyote. The first of the two trails that we can access right now off of the Waterfowl Auto Tour route is the Sousa Marsh Trail. And this is going to be the longest trail that we do today. It'll come in at about a mile. It's going to start out by going through a riparian woodland before getting to the marsh. And once we get to the marsh, we'll be able to take a closer look with a spotting scope.
trail that we're stopping at off of the Waterfowl Auto Tour route is the Winton Marsh Trail where we can view a permanent marsh. This trail is a little bit shorter, coming in at just under three quarters of a mile, and it also features an observation deck. Let's check it out. Finishing up our final hike and moving on to the last area that we'll be exploring today. The Thule Elk Auto Tour route is a five mile road that's going to take us around an enclosure. The Thule Elk are an endemic subspecies of the North American elk and they almost went extinct in the late 1800s. Now there are over 4,000 Thule Elk around the state. Make sure you stop at the interpretive panels along the way and spend some time on the wildlife viewing platform. We've had such a beautiful visit to the San Luis National Wildlife Refuge today. I hope that you can come out and enjoy the sights and the sounds at different times of the year as well. Thank you so much for coming along with us today on the journey. I hope that you go to yourcentralvalley.com and pick out other hikes and keep adventuring. Until then, I'm Lauren Wallace and I'll see you on the next trail.